So I received a tweet this week uh, from my principal, and it, he's down at a conference in Florida, the FETC one, and he knows that I love Symbaloo, so he sent me this picture of Symbaloo lesson plans. So I went to check it out right away, and usually my first go-to is YouTube. There's no tutorials on it or what it is. So, of course, I had to check it out. So what I'm going to do is create a quick tutorial overview for you so that you can check it out too and decide whether it's something you'd like to use or not. Symbaloo Lesson Plans is pretty much the same thing as Symbaloo. So if you're familiar with Symbaloo, you know you just copy and paste a link into one of those squares. Here's a picture of what the Symbaloo Lesson Plan is, and just to give you an idea of what it means by lesson plan, it looks like a game board. So what you're doing is you're taking a link and you're going to drop it into uh, right here. If you had a link if, of a YouTube video. So basically the kids go here, they start, then they'll be brought to this link where it goes to this video, they watch the video, then it jumps to the next square when they hit continue, and you can actually insert questions about the video they had watched, whether it be a document link to a Google Doc, or using the program features that they have inside of it. After they finish and complete that, they jump to the next one, and so on and so forth. So all of these boxes here are links that have been dropped into Google Docs or using some of the features that are available on the Symbaloo lesson plan feature. So let me go ahead and bring you into the Symbaloo so you can see what it looks like when you're actually using it. Okay, to get to the place you need to start, you're going to go to lessonplans.symbaloo.com and it'll bring you to this you can see right here where you can enter a code so when you have your lesson plan the kids are actually going to get a code they enter it and then they can they can start their lesson plan right there so if I go to log in right here brings me right to the symbols that I have developed I have a couple of logins for different ones this is the one that is my primary symbol so I'm going to go ahead and log in straight right there welcomes me to the symbol lesson plan creating so here we're going to go to Start a plan. New lesson plan. So we'll go sample. And then I can tell um, some description of it. Sample plan. You can add objectives if you want, your grade. This is all going to be for um, people who are searching out your lesson plans. There is not a lot on their database right now because it is in beta testing still, probably. They're working out some of the kinks. If you want to create a math lesson, you can have different themes if you would like. Playground, jungle, chalkboard. And what's your expected duration of the time to complete the lessons or to hop through the squares of the activities on there? I mean, it's not going to hold you to it. It's just a random or a general time. Okay, and we'll save that lesson plan there and now it's going to start with our board so once we're here this is the game board that I showed you initially and what you'll do is pick a starting spot now over here gives you a title and you can put the title of your lesson plan um, we'll just say fractions You can decide what direction you want your game board to go. Here's your inserts right here. If you want to insert a YouTube video, you can do a search for it right here. And let's say fractions, addition, subtraction. So we'll just use this as a sample. Okay. And then you can put directions, watch video. Here you go, directions. So we'll have it go. Now you can pick two directions at the same time, and it'll create a box that can go into two different directions. But we'll just say that we want it to go just down. Or in this case, we'll just say sideways. I'm not going to waste time showing you how to figure out buttons. It's going to be a matter of tinkering. So there's our home button. It says fractions. The kids are going to click that. They're going to watch the movie. Now, what else do we want them to do? Well, we can go ahead and click in if we wanted to do a question. We could ask questions about the video that they asked. And then you can type in the question here. Blah, 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 blah. And then you can have it be multiple choice, short answers, scale, 
date, duration, even a numeric. So if we did a multiple choice answer, um, we could put this is the answer for A, add a new answer, this is an answer for B, answer for C, and you can even actually change the correction there and A, B, C. And what direction do we want to go next? We'll just say go down. I think the red means that it does not want us to go down. So we'll save it and see if it likes that. Please fill out this field question. Okay, so now we have gone across and we're gone down. And then we can add in a link from our symbol. Let's say you have your math links available. <clears throat> and you want them to do that. Here is a list of all the Symbaloo tabs that I have created. So if I wanted to put in one of my math Symbaloos, so let's say the next thing I, activity I wanted them to do was to go to SumDog. I can have them go to SumDog, and then after they go to SumDog, I'm going to have, I'm going to say they can go either to A direction or B direction. Hit save. Oh, likes to have a title. And as you can see, you just build it and build it. You can also drop in um, from your Google Drive, from the internet. And this right here, I believe, is where you can input some kind of something from a cloud. Um, it's a fantastic little thing I'm going to be tinkering with. I just wanted to give you the general idea because there's nothing out there to refer to for a quick overview. So this is what it can do. And it seems like it'd be fantastic for independent work or you wanted to have the children follow certain math games like in a center or go through certain activities in an ordered way. And then you can put this out there and give them the link, drop it in their Edmodo, drop it in their Google Classroom, um, put it somewhere where they can access the link to this, join in, and then they're automatically going through it in the way that they, and it's like playing a game. I'm sure there's ways to add game pieces and to add more bells and whistles to this, but right now, that's it in a nutshell. Have fun exploring it, and if you learn something really cool, make sure to email me.